separate bills that I've introduced that I'm going to discuss. The first is a bill called the Script Act. For years, we have known that China's surveillance state and censorship practices are used to maintain its human rights violations. And what this devastating pandemic has shown us is that China's surveillance state and its censorship practices are also a profound threat to our national security, to our public health, and our, to our public debate as the Chinese government hid information about the COVID-19 pandemic that began in Wuhan, China, hid it for months on end and allowed millions across the globe to be threatened, their lives and health and safety to be threatened. And in addition to their espionage activities, the Chinese Communist Party invests billions into spreading propaganda, even using American media outlets, telecommunication infrastructure, movies, and sports teams to spread their propaganda from buying media outlets so that they broadcast propaganda into America to coercing Hollywood studios and sports leagues to self-censor by threatening to cut off access to one of the world's largest markets the Chinese Communist Party spends billions and billions of dollars to mislead Americans about China and to try to shape what we see, what we hear and think. All of these activities are part of China's whole of state approach to amass influence around the world through information warfare. And we need to stand together to stop it. That's why I will be momentarily asking for unanimous consent on the Script Act which would cut off Hollywood studios from the assistance they currently receive from the U.S. federal government if those studios allow the Chinese Communist government to censor what they're producing. We've seen this pattern over and over and over again, Hollywood being complicit in China's censorship and propaganda in the name of bigger profits. Bohemian Rhapsody, wonderful biopic of Freddie Mercury, story of the band Queen. Well, the Chinese government was upset that Freddie Mercury was homosexual and demanded that Hollywood censor out scenes that showed that Freddie Mercury was homosexual. And Hollywood, those great woke social warriors that they are, compliantly said, we're more interested in the money than in artistic integrity, than in telling Freddie Mercury's story, so the Chinese government will happily edit out those scenes. Doctor Strange, another movie, comic book movie, and Doctor Strange, they changed the Ancient One's character from being from Tibet, which is how it's portrayed in the comic book, to Celtic. Because, you know, the Chinese communist censors, they don't want to recognize Tibet, another area that has been subject to persecution and oppression from China, and Hollywood meekly complied. In the sequel to Top Gun, the back of Maverick's jacket, if you remember the first Top Gun, maybe the greatest Navy recruiting film ever made, the back of Maverick's jacket, you find the Taiwanese flag, and the Japanese flag. The Chinese censors didn't like that. And so Hollywood meekly removed the flags. What does it say to the world when Maverick is scared of the Chinese communists? And I would point out, unfortunately, the Chinese censorship is being carried out by Hollywood billionaires who are getting richer in the process. In recent days, it's been reported that one of Joe Biden's top potential choices to be ambassador to China is the former CEO of Disney, who happens to be a major Democratic donor. Disney just came out with the movie Mulan. In the movie Mulan, which the director described as, quote, a love letter to China, well, this love letter wasn't subtle because right in the credits at the end of Mulan, they thank the oppressive government forces who are running concentration camps right now with over one million Uyghurs imprisoned. 
Disney gleefully thanked the jackbooted thugs that are carrying out torture and murder, and apparently the leader of that effort is one of the top candidates to be America's ambassador to China.